Hello my friends out there, this is Evan, your man in some really exciting tutorials. Today I will grab Premiere and I'm going to be showing you the way of creating the typewriter effect inside Premiere. A wonderful effect, really easy effect. The only thing that you have to do is a nice uh, font and of course a sound of the typewriter. Of course I'm going to be giving you two links in order to download the, both the font that I'm using and of course the sound that I'm also using of the typewriter. So uh, I will give you this uh, sound, this typewriter sound as you realize and of course this lucky typewriter from the dafont.com free font free sound we love free and of course free tutorial for you so uh, the final result will be that check this out i will uh, actually increase the volume great so uh, I will uh, use this actually uh, website. This is my website with Greek tutorials. So if you speak Greek, just go there. You will find you will find two thousand and more of video tutorials of creative video tutorials. But uh, if you're speaking English, well, uh, this is your channel. Anyway, uh, I will have to create uh, a new title inside the Premiere. So I will go here. I will click the new item. And then I will just click the title in order to create a title with dimensions uh, 1920 and 90 and 1080. And then I will just name this uh, type effect type writer. Wonderful. And then the only thing that I have to do next is to grab my type tool from this new environment, this new window inside Premiere. And then I will just click over here and I will uh, type www.teachme.gr. And then I will just uh, select all by hitting Ctrl and A. And then I will go to the font family and I will change this to the lucky typewriter you have to download and install the font before you open the premiere if you have uh, the premiere already open uh, you will have to uh, close it and open it again in order for the system to import this uh, font inside premiere so then this is my font afterwards i will uh, increase the tracking in order to make actually uh, bigger distance between the 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 characters i should say at about 20 it's gonna be okay and we're good to go afterwards we will only position this one a little better according to those guides over here the vertical guide and the horizontal so uh, i think it is positioned uh, pretty much okay i will just close this one and of course i will uh, drop this effect typewriter inside the new sequence right away i can see my new text over here but this text right now uh, it is a static text i have to make it uh, you know working and uh, appear letter by letter it's time so we will have to use a wonderful filter inside uh, premiere and of course i'm talking about the crop effect which is uh, over here of course we have to type here crop inside the effects panel and then I will drop this one over the effect typewriter. And afterwards, we will see some uh, extra settings over here in the effect controls panel. And actually, the only setting that uh, I am really interested in is uh, the right uh, setting. So this right, actually, if I will increase that, you can see in my web uh, address over there on the right, you will see that my web page is getting uh, disappeared but you know it gets uh, linear and so i will be able to appear letters each letters every time and i will be able to make it look like typing so uh, first of all i will just hide the whole thing at about 85 percent and then i will just uh, import inside my effect typewriter sequence i will just first of all i will close this one i will just uh, drag and drop the this uh, actually i will just name this english and the name will be a type 
writer sound okay because before it was in greek so now i will just drop it over here and then i will uh, put it over here and then i will just uh, increase the visibility of this channel in order to see where is the clicking sound of the of the pressed button of the typewriter so it has to be over here you see that tac tac so uh, for start i just want this uh, to be like that i will uh, uh, leave this uh, empty uh, quietness over here in order to see to hear the type right after at about half second okay maybe less than half second only four frames and then i will just start to appear my address so now before i will hear the ticking sound here i will just take my uh, left arrow key in my keyboard i will just tap it and then i will go to my effect typewriter and i will just create a keyframe over the right setting of the crop effect and of course by creating this uh, this effect this uh, keyframe over here i have just activated the automatic keyframe so every time i will just uh, adjusting those settings a new keyframe will be added in my uh, timeline so then i will just go uh, one uh, tapping one uh, time the right arrow key in order to go to the tick point wonderful and then i will go and change this to 80 let's say maybe i can do this with my mouse maybe i can go to 78 and out of the blue i have one letter check this out wonderful do you see that okay then i will go i will just duplicate this sound by hitting the alt key and click and drag option key in macintosh and then I will go and I will actually cut the empty, the empty space before the sound. Of course, here I have just deleted the click, I think. Yes. And I will put this over here. So now it's like that. Let's uh, just see that. Wonderful. Have taka taka. You see that? Wonderful. And here I will just go uh, one uh, tapping again on the left arrow key, one frame before the tack here, let's say. And then I will go back again to my crop. I will just create a keyframe that uh, will hold this keyframe, the previous um, 78%. And then I will just tap my right arrow key once. And now I will just lower this up in order to appear the second one. And of course, I have now four keyframes. The two of the keyframes, they just uh, sustain the, um, the previous actually settings. And the two after, the two and four, they actually create new settings over my crop uh, effect. So let's just see that. Wonderful. And now I can go again and uh, duplicate this one by holding the Alt key click and drag my uh, my you know clip over here my sound clip and then i will go again go here i will select my effect typewriter and then i will just create a stable uh, keyframe and then i will go here and i will just take out also the third w and my friends this is it more or less wonderful and then I will just create a new one over here. I will just leave uh, an uh, a space between those two because uh, when you press the www, you use the same finger, and the same actually uh, letter uh, all the time. But then you will have to change your finger and uh, actually change the position of your finger and uh, tap the stop, the period, let's say. So you must have an empty uh, space between those two clicks. And now I will just uh, go here. I will create a new uh, stable keyframe and then I will just tap it once on the right. And then I will go create a full stop great and let's just see that how it goes just take this out wonderful you see that it looks great i think and now we'll just uh, write the teach me.gr 
uh, much more faster because the the fingers they will go really faster in order to write different letters but of course if you like you can make it slower or even faster i will go and i will just uh, take a copy of this one and then i will just make it uh, shorter in order to be more to be much more fast when you type so i have that and now we'll just start creating the full word one keyframe stable then i will go and type the first great and then i will go and uh, maybe i have i have this already shortened so i will just uh, put the next right uh, after the previous in order to have it you know a really faster sequence with no stops and empty spaces between and then i will go to here and then i will just create a new stable keyframe then tap it once on the right and then take out the other letter the other character and then i will go back again front again sorry go here i will select again my my effect typewriter the title let's say and then i will go and take out that let's just check this uh, how it looks because maybe it needs some uh, adjustments wonderful it is wonderful and uh, i think that we have a minor pro a minor problem over here with this uh, little a so i have to go to the previous keyframe which is over here great and then i can just take this out at about there wonderful and then i can just recreate one by one or now i can just create three new extra sounds by holding again the alt option in macintosh click and drag you see how easy it is uh, to duplicate stuff inside premiere and then i will go here again create a stable keyframe and then tap once on the right and create the next letter and the next letter and the next letter and so on it's really easy you see that i don't really have to say that all the time the only thing that i have to do is to increase the uh, the duration of this effect typewriter title and then I can go over here and create uh, a new again stable keyframe and then just go there and then I will just copy and create four new ones in order to get also the last letter or the last character of the teach me and then I have to create as well the dot gr and now I will create a new great stable and then I will just take this out. You see how easy? I know that uh, it's actually a boring sequence to do that in all the letters, but you have to do it in order to make it good. Maybe I will just create an empty space over here between the words, the teach me word and the dot gr in order to make it more realistic, but it's no problem anyway. I can go there now and now stable tap the right arrow key take out the stop okay and then i go there again and the same thing all over again and take this out take the g uh, oopsie over here and then go here create the stable and then just take out the r and we're done my friends let's just see how it looks like so i go here i will select my program and i will hit the play wonderful you see that with some simple and easy steps and you know with some files that they are ready for me i didn't use uh, my sound i didn't use my fonts i just used other fonts and other sounds and have just created a united and very nice effect of typewriting machine again once more wonderful so if you like my work please like my video and uh, don't forget uh, don't forget to share my video 
and don't you forget to subscribe because if you subscribe to my channel you will be able to watch every day new tutorials in the most creative programs out there have fun my friends and keep type writing